People always say, let's bring the 80s back. It's here. Love, you gotta chase your dreams. Live your life. Learn to hold your own when it ain't going right. Bring your people love. Show them more than life. Go against the world and do it more than twice. We're live on my YouTube channel right now. Story, first and foremost, Dennis. I have to say, I'm back on YouTube. This is gonna be my first video back. I miss you guys. Um, I'm actually on a phone call with Dennis who is purchasing my 1987 GT uh, Pro Freestyle team model. You know, I, I just knew that it was time for me to let it go into another collector's possession. So, um, you know, I, I let Dennis know. He actually, Dennis, go ahead and explain. We were texting uh, for quite some time. I think we, we had met on eBay. I had let one of my other bikes go on eBay and then we messaged back and forth and then you got my number and I sent you some of the bikes that I had. But long story short, I, I just, you know, letting one go and then Dennis is looking to get it. So he texted me, can I call? Boom, and Dennis, can you tell me like why you wanted to call, right? I think this is something everyone needs to hear. Right, well, well basically the main reason I wanted to call, I just wanted to make sure this was legit. But then um, you showed me your TikTok page and, and it's, it's all legit, it's all good. And I'm actually scrolling through your TikTok. I was already following you on TikTok and I didn't even realize it. <laughs> and definitely have a lot of bikes on there, man. And uh, like I said, like we, we met through eBay. I was really interested in that orange uh, performer you had. And I, at the time I just didn't, just wasn't ready to pull the gun and I was looking for a performer, but I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to buy a performer and, and restore it myself or buy one that's already done. Uh, and as I was searching and searching and searching, the more I come across them, there was a lot of performers out there that need to be restored, but, but the price range, I mean, they want two, two grand, 2,500, some even went up to 3,500. And I'm like, well, that's just, this crazy. So um, I, I started thinking, I'm like, you know what, let me just, maybe, maybe see if I can find them when it's already done. And I came across you, man, and, and then I met a quick message you, and then you told me you had the, the, the PFT, you sent me pictures of it, and it's exactly what I was looking for. Right. And I, I looked at it, and I was like, dude, that's that, that's it. That's the bike. That's the bike I want. And, and just kind of just bring back my childhood. I mean, I, I live by my bike. Yes. Uh, my, my bike took me everywhere. And it's cool to see that this this is a hobby now, and it's fun to do. It, you just got to figure out which way you want to go with it, buy one that's already done or, or piece it together. But like I said to you earlier, it's just – parts are just so hard to find it just brings back your childhood and your youth yeah that um, that, that first sense of freedom right that's to me what what right. these bikes oh, represent is is that first sense of freedom of ownership of of something that you wanted so badly once it was in your possession you took a lot of pride into what you were doing so i think everyone that's going to be watching this is really going to understand there's a lot of bikes from that childhood that era uh, at least for me right that you couldn't have so i think a lot of us have a similar story where the the family didn't right. have a lot of money these bikes right. were roughly four to five hundred bucks I, I think i had the uh my first bike was the an 88 gt vertigo street that was i think that was you know bottom of the barrel what gt offered at the time i think the team model and i may be wrong hopefully they correct me in the comments below i think the uh pft was just sold as a frame and fork you know from gt and then you had to build it up or you just saw the frame and fork in the magazine. For me, I only saw the PFT in the magazine. The other cool thing is, is the, the pro riders that, that that made these bikes cool to us are now still living legends. If you go to my Instagram page, I went live on Instagram with Eddie Fiola and see the bike man and sway with one speed. And we spoke with Eddie and he was a different perspective of everything. He, to me, is the reason why we are collecting these bikes in 2022. He, he made them cool for us in the 80s. He was that rider. He was the, you know, marketing, right. you know, piece of that. I think to me, I'm, I'm utilizing social media in the way I think it was intended for, and that's to create a sense of community. Get to be a voice and give us, the bike collectors, a platform to talk, talk about it. Buy and sell parts and trade and, you know, their art pieces, right? So they have a value. What's, what's yeah. funny is people argue a lot about the price of these bikes, but they have no problem going into a big box store and buying something that was made overseas and mass produced for a 2,500, right? But a right. bike from 30 years ago that is in showroom quality, that has a value. And that's not even one that's restored. It's in a box of $2,500. And if you want to restore it, it's going to go up from there. Facts, facts. But to get a piece right. of history, whether it has repop parts on it or not, to me, it doesn't right. matter because if it has repop parts, if you want something all original, you buy that and then you invest your money in from people that are willing to sell you those OG parts. The OG parts are very high value. Good luck even trying. If you could, yeah, the, the bikes themselves represent so much more than just 
riding them uh, because it all comes from a vision. It comes from a dream, hence BMX Dreaming. Uh, so I'll give you a call or shoot me a text when, when uh, we're ready to move forward on everything. Uh, but again, we'll stay in, in touch throughout this entire process because again, s sending a, you know the amount that we're, we're uh, exchanging for the bike, a lot of people fear that I do myself. If I could give you any warm and fuzzies that you're not getting scammed, we're gonna talk throughout this entire process, e even to when you do it gets delivered to the house because hopefully it brings the same joy. And uh, again, this is gonna be a moment where I gotta spend a little bit of time with this PFT before I ship it out. <laughs> Absolutely, Brandon. Appreciate you making me feel better about it all. So, yeah. yeah. We'll talk again later today. We'll catch y'all. I'm going inside to source a box. All right, guys. I'm at one of my favorite places to uh, source some uh, shipping uh, materials to get this uh, PFT out to Dennis. Um, so I think this is going to be one of y'all's. Go ahead and cue the music. Well, that's right. We're at Home Depot. I got to get uh, some pipe wrap uh, that I wrap uh, the bike up and some zip ties and a little bit of bubble wrap to ensure that we get this uh, PFT out to Dennis unharmed. So again, guys, this is one of my favorite places. If you're a man's man, this has got to be one of your favorite stores as well. So let's go. All right, guys, I am on my way to a very special location. Um, what I am doing now is I have the pipe wrapping, the noodles, whatever you want to call it, bubble wrap. I was able to source a box I have in the back of the car, trunk slash back seat, and got the bike, the 87 Pro Freestyle up on top. And we're going to show you the process. It, it, it's not as easy. It's a lengthy uh, kind of pain in the uh, process to, I get so OCD because I want the bike to show up to uh, the new owner as if I was receiving it, right? I'm gonna take you to a, a special location to get this bike packaged up and shipped out. So check you with you in a minute. All right guys, at Sketchy Speed Shop, I am here to not only ship out my bike, but shipping out a bike for uh, Sketchy's. They uh, let one bike go. So and I'm here to get this bike all packaged up. Dennis, if you're watching, Big thumbs up to you. We just talked not too long ago. Hey, I'll stop talking. Uh, maybe we'll cut into a B roll from here and show you where I'm at. Look, you gotta chase your dreams. Live your life. Learn to hold your own when it ain't going right. Bring your people up. Show them more than life. Go against the world and do it more than twice. You gotta chase your dreams. Live your life. Learn to hold your own when it ain't going right. Okay, follow me, guys. Uh, like I said, I'm here not only to package up and ship out my 87 Pro Team model, I am also bubble wrapping and shipping out another one uh, that Sketchies has uh, going to an, a new owner. This is a Dayglow Orange 87, the twin of my white bike. This is getting shipped out. So again, I gotta get started and get this bike packaged up to go to its new owner as well. These seats, these seats are hard to come by. So I need to get to work, but I already took the front wheel off. Uh, we'll go ahead and bubble wrap everything and make it nice and pretty. Ensure that this uh, shows up to the new owner without any damage. Go ahead and cut to the time lapse. Boom. All right, guys, back, back on the YouTube channel. I am also live here on TikTok. Say what's up, all my TikTok people. If you're not already following me on TikTok, it's BMX underscore dreaming. We're on TikTok live. We got 21K likes already. We got a lot of people on the live talking tonight. It's been a great time. I'm over here at Sketchy Speed Shop, one of the best privately owned speed shops in the state of Texas, guys. There's my buddy right there, Mr. Sketchy himself. Guys, so I am over here. We have already boxed up the Dayglow Orange 
PFT. It is going to Chicago. And now we are getting the white 87 PFT boxed up and shipped to the new rightfully owner. We have all the noodles. The noodles are going to go on the bike. The fork standards are coming off. Dennis is getting a beautiful 87 PFT with GT LP5, GT tires, all the bells and whistles. This bike is immaculate. This was my grail, but you know, I think bikes and cars should not be with one owner for its entire life. Built in California, then came to Texas, spent some time here in Texas, from what I know, and now it's gonna spend some time on the East Coast, guys. So again, it's got history. The serial numbers are still on here. So Dennis, when you get this in your possession, you'll be able to make out the serial numbers right here. You'll see that it was an 87. It is ready to go, shipped out. Lose, you gotta chase your dream. Live your life, learn to hold your own. When it ain't going right, bring your people up. Show them more to life. Go against the world and do it more than twice. You gotta chase your dream. Live your life, learn to hold your own. When it ain't going right. All right guys, the bike is complete. It's all packaged up, ready to go to its new owner. As you can see, she's all bundled up, nice and tight. Nothing exposed there. Everything is set, ready to go, boxed up, and I will get this bike shipped out first thing Monday morning. We'll see you soon. All right, guys, the time has come. The day has come. I am shipping off my 1987 GT Pro Freestyle Team Model. I never thought this this would be a day. <laughs> Honestly, uh, all jokes aside, I never thought this would come. You know, when I originally purchased this bike after it was built, I was, it was like a grail. It was one that was gonna sit on the wall and you know, pass down the kids and you know, all that that we say as collectors, right? To justify us uh, owning the bikes forever. But just like any other collector guys, there's other bikes that want, I wanna uh, complete. And this is a hobby slash passion that I have, getting these bikes restored to showroom quality. So my family growing, um, it only made sense if I want to continue to, to build more grails like everybody else, then I need to let some go. You know, the cool thing about it is once it's, I'm letting it go, um, it's going to Dennis and Dennis and I have talked uh, a few different times uh, throughout this entire process. Great guy, couldn't, you know, ask for it to go to a better home, right? Kind of like I'm giving up a kid or, or a puppy or a dog. You know, these things hold a, a near and dear to our heart, so I felt it was, if I let anything go out of my possession, uh, I always like to talk to people uh, who, who's purchasing it so they know what they're getting. Just, you know, kind of warm and fuzzy that it, it's going to, the, to someone cool. Uh, and Dennis is just that. But yeah, heading to UPS right now. Dennis, it's on the way. My, or now your 87 GT Pro Freestyle Team model is on the way. All right, I'm gonna call Dennis and let him know his bike is on its way. I think that's even more than just getting a text saying, hey, your bike's on its way. Let's see if he'll answer. Uh, hold up, you know what? Dennis, PFT. Call has been forwarded to an automated voicemail. Voice at the tone, please record your message. When you finish we'll recording, you may hang up or Buffet. press one for more options. Hey Dennis, Brandon, uh, just wanted to give you a call, let you know that your PFT is on the way. I just dropped it off at UPS. Give me a call if you have any questions. And that's customer service, right? But again, all jokes aside, guys, I, I really enjoy this hobby from collecting bikes to seeing the new generation of BMX, you know, coming up and racing. Also watching uh, guys my age uh, still still uh, riding Flatland. So, you know, it, it's, it's a lot going on in the BMX world. So BMX Dreaming is now back, back on the GoPro, making more YouTube videos. In two weeks, it's gonna be very interesting because there is gonna be a big national race back here in Houston at Rockstar Energy Park. My, my little homie H is gonna be racing. A lot of pros are gonna be here. Mosquito and Barry Nobles. So we, we watch everything uh, BMX. So not just Flatland, not just collecting bikes. I watch it all, guys. Like People always say, let's bring the 80s back. It's here. Again, guys, uh, appreciate all the new subscribers. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. Check y'all out soon. You gotta
Chase your dreams. Live your life. Learn to hold your own.